Today, I can paint over anything in Minecraft, but every time I paint over something, I'm gonna have to do a challenge too. So let's begin by gathering our painting tools. So I'm gonna be painting over this thing right there, but step one, it's a trade for a painting tool. All right, what do you want? One stack of white wool for the first canvas. All right, I got a plan. First, let's get some tools. Now we're good. And so that's what we need right there. Okay, here's the plan. These guys, we're gonna make a nice good old fence area right there. And then all these guys, they're gonna go in there. And then with shears, we'll get the wool. So I need wheat. Back in the desert, but we got wheat. That should be good. Let's go, sheep. Come with me, my friends. Okay, now we just gotta get these guys inside. But hopefully they don't entity cram. Get in there. And now we have a lot of sheep. And now we gotta make a big old fence and get some shears. So first, let's get some wood. Oh, wait, we found a cave. All right, now mission to find some iron for a shear. And oh my gosh, wait, what is this cave? Guys, do I try to make that water jump right there? You know what? I low-key want to do it. Let's go for it. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, I would have died. <laughs> okay, this is the plan then. Just because I can, we're going to try to jump straight down there. Or, or would that be smarter? Oh gosh, you know what? I'm going to go for that one. Here goes something. Oh gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. And we found iron. I call that a dub. But my goodness, actually a lot of iron. Holy. Okay, let's real quick make a furnace. Then we put the iron, one piece of coal, and now we cook. Grab that, make a pickaxe, and finally the shears we need. Now we go back up. All right, next step, guys. It is time to actually put down the fences and pretty much make a super wool farm for the stack of wool. That should be big enough. Get one fence gate, and I think we have a farm. All right, sheep, you're free to go. And so now, let's see how much wool we get with the first one. Oh, wow, that's actually a lot. 20 white wool, three light gray, and five black wool. All right, now we wait for them to eat. Six and a half hours later. Okay. New plan, more sheep. Three, two, one, and we have more sheep. All right, I'm coming in. Give me the wool. Oh, wait, we're almost there, guys. Oh, and we got it. Yes. One stack of wool, and all of you can now be free. Now let's go trade. Okay, so now we can complete step one, where we trade one stack of white wool for a 16x canvas. Now step two, craft your paint. Oh, wait, what? Did that just appear? Hold on. I think we got to get the paintbrush and the colors. So we need dyes and that stuff. Well, the first thing we need is definitely a cactus for the cactus green. Then we get the red flower, the yellow flower, another red flower and yellow flower. Combine the red and combine the yellow. You get some orange. And of course, we cook the cactus with some fences. Then we get the green dye. And why not? We also get the blue dye. Oh, look, it's a squid. Don't mind me. There we go. And now we have black dye. Let me break these real quick. Then we get some more red dye. And with the red and blue, we can make purple. Now all we need is bone meal. Oh, skeleton. Yes. All right. Get over here, buddy. There goes one bone. And now with the bone meal, we can make white dye. Not only that, but light blue dye. Now that's the paint done. But we still got to make this craft on the screen right now. So let's get some chickens. Yep, that's good enough. Now for one string. Okay, we can either fight those spiders over there or go to the mine shaft with the spider. Obvious answer. Don't mind me. Let me just grab some of this and we should be good now. All right, let's go back. Okay, so now to finish step two, let's real quick put all these in and now we get the paint palette, which needs a paint brush. So no worries. We got the stick. We got the string. We got the feathers because now we have a dry paintbrush too. So when we combine the two, we get the worst paintbrush, the 8-bit paintbrush. But apparently how this works is kind of like this. So first, we can select anything in the game. Whereas you can see, this thing is dug down. So let me dig it all the way down. I think this should be good. So let's pick area number one. There we go. And corner one selected. And so now I can put all the sand back in because it's going to be painted over. And now if that's corner one, if we go all the over here then we line up right here for the corner then to like corner number two we can now paint over this entire temple so here goes nothing let's paint okay Fair warning, guys, as always, I suck at drawing. So right now, I'm drawing the front of the temple, but the goal today is to pretty much repaint this into something better. The admins are gonna look at it, make something from it, and then we'll see what happens. So we got the temple going right there, pretty good. But what if we draw under it, maybe a bunch of treasure? Because currently the temple just, you know, has pretty basic treasure. And to make this challenge easier, we'll put a big old diamond sword as like the main treasure thing. I think this might work. Let's see how this drawing works and let's transform the temple in three, Two, one. Oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, gosh. Loot the temple. Don't get caught. One hit KO. Wait, what the heck is that thing? Yo, I did not draw that. Is that what they interpreted? Hold on. Okay, so we got to sneak in, apparently. And, and this guy seems dumb, so I'm just going to go by the side. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, there's a staircase now. Okay, so the treasure room is still normal, so let me just grab this stuff before I go inside. One golden apple, emeralds, gold. Okay, not bad at all. Then, so what ended up happening when I painted over this? So apparently, if I get caught, it's a one hit KO. Wait, what the heck is that? Is that a stick figure? Oh my, guys, my drawing was not that bad. I did not do any stick figures. All right, here's the plan, guys. 
guys, we're gonna slowly sneak in and let's not get caught. Let me go inside here. Okay, should be good. Let me just keep going. Go for it. Okay. And now what is this room? Flip the levers and the cage will unlock. All right, so we got some seeds and I gotta unlock the cage. Wait, what are the levers though? Oh, it's these rooms. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's like a multi-part puzzle. This is cool. Let me get that done right there. I just don't wanna get caught and I don't wanna die. Okay, so we did one of the levers. Let's go to this one. Oh wait, I could literally just jump. There we go. It looks like two more to go. What is this? Oh, water jumps. Get that one done. There we go. And now finally the last one right here. Okay, that's one, two, three. And that's all four done. Is the chicken saved? Oh, it is. All right, so I gotta put the chicken in here and make him follow me from there. All right, Mr. Chicken, I'm coming up. Honestly, guys, I, I can just do this. Come on, come on. Gotta get down here. There we go. All right, so I gotta take him all the way over here. All right, straight this way, Mr. Chicken. Don't worry. Okay, it's slowly working. I just gotta make him go to the pressure plate. Go in there, buddy. Oh, we did it. Yes. Oh, and it's the sword. The lucky diamond sword. Let's grab that. And it's pretty much a standard diamond sword. Looting 10, luck of the C10. Uh, do I like click the buck? Oh, new room unlocked. Head back to the hallway. Oh, wait, is this temple even bigger? Okay, so do I gotta sneak back through this guy again? Oh, of course. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just walk through here. Oh, wait, is this the new door? Oh, yo, there's even more hallways. And there's gold. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm gonna grab some of this real quick. Don't mind me. And he's right there. Oh, gosh. Okay, it says go down. Let's go down. Oh, what the heck is this place? Is it like a puzzle to get to the next room? Oh, I think I'm supposed to get the water in the hole. All right, hold on. Let me real quick break that sponge. Okay, that's actually really creative. What the heck? Make the water all the way flow. There we go. And is that all of them or is there more? Oh, wait, maybe I gotta make it stronger. Oh, that worked. And now with this, we get, oh my gosh, cursed diamond blocks and a grappling hook. And another room has been unlocked. What is this? It's fool's gold. Guys, when I try crafting it, it becomes stone button. I'm, I'm upset. You know what? I'm gonna keep it just out of spite. But on the bright side, we got grappling hook. All right, brand new room unlocked. Let's real quick. Grab all the way up. Take me up. Oh, and it worked. Oh gosh, and we're back to this. Is that the next room? Oh, there he goes. As long as he doesn't find me, he should be fine. Let's just keep going. And oh gosh. Okay, so we only have one room and oh, this might be my chance. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, and we're in. Wait, we're, we're not in? Is that a barrier? Oh gosh. Okay, Um, new plan. What we're gonna do is real quick, we're gonna place that there. Let me fall down. And now let's just scroll in. Okay, what do we got going on here? Oh, a different room. Oh wait, there's flowers. And I guess that's where it leads me. Oh, what if we gotta put the right color flower in there? Okay, let me grab some of these. Grab some of these. Okay. We put the allium in here. We put the pink tulip there. Let's put the poppy there. Orange tulip. And now finally a dandelion. And did that work? Oh, it worked. And so what do we have in here? More of the fool's diamond. We don't care about that. And oh my gosh, I just got so excited, guys. More cursed diamond blocks. Please tell me the armor and stuff is good. Oh, it is. Enchanted chest plate protection four. And a triple bow. Wait, is, is that multi shot on the bow? How does that work? Do I just like shoot it? Oh, nice. And now with all those treasures found, that's one out of two paintings complete. I assume I can open this now, so real quick, let me open that up. Let me put on the chest plate. There we go. And I would say that's pretty decent loot. Let's get out. All right, now for step two. First thing, let me grab this back. And now we gotta do one more drawing. And I was already thinking, if we're drawing over anything, why don't we transform this tree into something? So I think this will actually upgrade my paintbrush. So first, let me pick area one. All right, that's quarter one. And now, with the cursed iron blocks, let's go straight up and pick area two. And that's quarter number two. So now we will transform this tree into something useful. Let's go. Okay. So we have a regular bad drawing of a tree right now, which I made, of course. So with the selected area, why don't we make it into pickaxe shape? I mean, I didn't get a good pickaxe from the temple, so we could do a tree pickaxe and it might be the way. All right, with this drawing, that's gonna be two out of two done. Let's go to confirm it in three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Remove the roots, a shear should work. Oh, it kind of worked. Yo, wait, like a shear for the roots like this? Oh, we got a root. All right, let me real quick shear all of you guys out. And now we got the tree pickaxe. New tools unlocked. Two out of two paintings completed. Oh, and now we get the more HD versions. Okay, so now we have the 32X canvas and the 32-bit paintbrush. So the drawings are gonna be better. But what should we draw next? Oh, wait, I might have an idea. Okay, so this was the cave we had earlier, guys. And do I do it again? I'm doing it again. Oh, yes! I'm a pro! But here's the plan, guys. If I can paint over anything, what if we place this down right here and we selected this entire cave? This might be the move. Let me go up there real quick all the way up here this is gonna be corner number one and now with the first one being over there let me go as deep as i can guys and we're about to make this cave into an amazing cave because i haven't seen any diamonds and i want diamonds okay so let's go to the deepest point which i think is over here this might be good right here there we go corner number two and now we draw here goes nothing let's paint okay so now we have 
have more of an HD palette so we can draw a bigger area. Let's go to just draw the cave, which is going to be like a big old square, I guess, where the entire cave is going to be. It'll represent it. But we got fake diamond blocks. So what we need is a lot of ores. All that good stuff. We're about to add it all over the place. There we go. And just because why not? Let's see if we can even get made giant diamond ore. I, I guess this will be the giant diamond ore. We'll go with it. Let's go ahead and click done in three, two, one. Okay. Did it work? Oh, it worked. The caves changed. Check them out. Holy ores. Okay, so now we can get all the diamonds we'll ever need. But am I supposed to check something out in here? Oh, wait, what the heck is that? Oh, it's the giant diamond ore I drew. Hold on. Maybe this is what I got to mine. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. All right, do I just like break it? Oh, wait, is it alive? Okay, challenge started. Escape the cave and ore. Oh gosh. Guys, that thing is chasing me down. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. That was a bad jump. That was a bad jump, guys. Oh my gosh. Why have I created that abomination? You know what? Exit that way. Here's the plan. We're just going to go up, guys. And we're going to hope for the best. Okay, so I just got to head all the way up there. No, stay away, diamond ore. Oh my gosh. I don't have any blocks. Okay, let's just go straight up. And the entrance is over here. I think we lost him. I think we lost him. Okay, let's just get out of here. Are we good? Oh my gosh. Nice escape. One and a half paintings complete. Okay, diamond ore is done. Let me get the spread in. And now we can do any other repaint drawing where honestly, I kind of have an idea. So this time we're going to make our own structure. And what I mean with that is first, we're going to make a nice big old hole right here. It's not be the biggest thing in the world, but that is step one done. Okay, so pay attention, because first, we need the furnace, then we put the raw iron. All right, let's get the iron. Now with the bucket, we fill all the water in, and so now we have a nice thing of water, and right in front of me, we have lots of fish. So my plan is simple. We get the fish, and then we place the fish in the water. Come here, fish. That's one fish, two fish, three fish, and so finally with these fish, we put boom, boom, boom. We got the four fishes. That should be enough. Let me just get some water just in case, and now all we gotta do is place down the canvas. There we go, and we'll be selecting your area, which is right here. And then if we dig all the way down, we'll do the next area right here. Corner number two selected. There we go. And now we're about to paint water. And you'll see what I have in mind. Okay, so right now, let's go ahead and draw the small hole with some fishies in it. It'll be very simple. We got the water for blue. We got the fish. But what we're going to be making this into is I'm going to go ahead and draw an arrow and now draw a big old wipeout course. Or maybe it'll somewhat look like that. I mean, I'll pretty much make a bigger box and separate it into to different boxes. Maybe this could be like different parts of the course. It sounds fun. So, I mean, if we're transforming something with painting, we might as well make it super fun. I guess we can maybe put in some different fish there. What about a shark? Okay, we'll put that in. And at the very end, we're going to be putting a good old prize of something golden or some goods. You know, we do need some more stuff. So, why not? Let's go ahead and finish it up there. And I think this might be exactly what we need. So, here goes nothing in three, two, one. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, it works. Complete the course. Just don't fall. Okay, we're really doing this right now. Okay, time for some wipeout, guys. All right, so I'm just gonna do the jumps and not fall into the sharks. Oh gosh, okay, this is actually pretty fun. Okay, so I think I definitely need to place blocks here and there, but we should be fine to do some jumps. Let's jump. One, two, three, four. Let me real quick just do that there. And on to the next section. Okay, no sharks here, I don't think. Let's just make it to the very end and not fall. Wait, what? Oh, there's skeleton snowball things. Okay. No, don't, don't hit me when I'm in air. Oh gosh, we gotta just make it to the end, guys. Oh my gosh, it's up there. What's the range on these guys. Okay, almost there, guys. Just a couple more jumps. There we go. And oh, what the heck is this? Oh, survive 30 seconds. Good luck. Oh, we got speed. Oh, it's TNT run. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Okay. I am not a fan of this because the TNT is proper exploding too. I am running for my life right now. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I'm on the last layer, guys. I fall right now and it's over. How's it not been 30 seconds? To be fair, I'm kind of killing it right now. Okay, come on. Oh, we did it. 30 seconds over. Head down to confirm my win. Oh, wait, is it down here? Oh, and there's a button. All right, hold on. Let me head to the top real quick. And without further ado, what happens when you press this button? New tools unlocked. Two out of two paintings complete. Okay, so now we're done with this brush. We're yet again, we're going to be upgrading to even higher level paintings. Not the best just yet, because now it's 64 bit. All right, well, let me get out of here real quick. And now we can go ahead and decide what is our next painting going to be. Let me go to the caves real quick. Okay, so we could do like a mob spawner or wait, I have an idea. What if we just draw right here with the HD brush? So technically, I can pick this area right there. That's going to be corner one. Then if I pick this area right there, this can be corner number two. Let's put down the canvas and watch what we're about to draw. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit of a different one. We're right now, we're just starting off with straight up a wall. But on the wall, what if we just draw a golden outline to represent a vault door? So a vault door needs pretty much the big old thing 
the center where you like spin it and it opens. I don't know. Well, I don't know what it's called, but let me know in the comments down below. And of course, the vault hinges things right there on the side. And that's pretty much all that the vault door has. We'll see what the admins make with this. Maybe they'll make it so I go into the vault or it's something crazy. So without further ado, let's get it done in three, two, one. Oh, it worked. Sneak into the vault. Don't get caught. Oh, and there's guards. All right. So we clearly can't go in from the front. But what if? Oh, wait, no. Is this all bedrock? Can we go in from the back? Is there any way in? Guys, I'm just literally going to dig around this. Still bedrock. Oh, never mind. I think we found it. What if I use a grappling hook to get inside? Oh, no. Okay. We got to do this the old fashioned way. Get one of these. And now put that there. Go up one. Break down that. And now we can go inside, guys. Okay. I don't think there's guards inside, but oh my goodness. Holy golden iron. And even diamond blocks. But the main loot I was looking for is seeing if we can get anything special from these. Oh, wait. Empty chest. Uh, what about this chest? Wait. Did it just suck me in? Complete the puzzle? What do zombies look like? Oh, they like scared villagers, not look like. Hold on. Can this guy follow me? Oh, it's following. Okay. Let me see this maze real quick. I think we gotta go this way. All right. Straight this way, zombie. Come on. Hurry up. Yeah, but we know you want food. Come on. All right. Let's just move him over here now. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw the villager right there. So maybe that works. Go on. Oh, yes. And he's stuck. All right, Mr. Villager. Uh, I'll put you right there. Have a great day. And now we can get another chest. Wait, it sucked me in again. Now, sort the bees? Here's a butterfly net. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of bees. So I gotta put each bee color into the right area. Oh, and there it is. Butterfly net. So if I go in here, do I just pick out like the blue ones? Oh, I'm gonna grab you. All right, let me grab those two real quick. I just grabbed some purple ones. And so now if I place them all the way over here, it should place them, right? Oh, and it came in the purple spot. Okay, I get it now. All right, let's start grinding these guys out. Okay, last one. And that's all of them done. Puzzle solved. The door is open. And we got the next door. Is this one a scam though? Because last time the chest sucked me in again. Are you suspicious like the last one? It sucked me in again. Are you serious? Now complete the picture. Find the scattered pieces. Oh, wait. Is this a piece? Oh, it is. Is this a picture of a chest? Hold on. We gotta find all the pieces then. Okay, so that's the door right there. And I placed all the images right here. Guess I gotta jump here then. Oh, okay. Next one. There we go. Found another one. Another one on a tree. That's a big old chest. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. There we go. Okay, that might be a corner. Another one at the very top here. Easy one. Okay, that was a long parkour one. Last one. And that's all of them. Okay, let me put these all on my hard bar real quick. In time to make a map. Masterpiece. Oh gosh, what the heck is this? What the heck is going on here? A few moments later. Guys, I am so dumb. I figured it out. I was missing two complete pieces. And that's puzzle solved. Now the door's open, and this time there's no chest. And can I take an enchant table? Oh, I can. All right, I think we're good to go in. Oh, we did it! Vault plundered, one and a half paintings complete. All right, I will call that a win, but I am getting out of here as soon as possible possible. Oh, uh, wrong way. Wrong way. We are not going to go with the front way because the guards are still there. Instead, let me just go through here and we'll get out of here as if nothing happened. All right, that's the job all done. Now for the next drawing. First, we got to go up. Oh, and that might be exactly what we need. Pickaxe, go. All right, so you guys can probably guess what I'm doing, but pretty much we got to take out that guy. There we go. Let me take out these guys too. Sorry about this. Oh, and there it is, guys. We just got bad omen and the next thing we're drawing over is going to be the ravager. So let me find a village. Oh, this might be what we need right here, but before before we do anything, I need to make sure to get the Ravager trapped. So to do that, we need a big old hole. All right, there we go. That should be good enough. And so here's the goal. We're gonna go in there, start a raid, and get a Ravager in here to paint over him. So now for the hard part, actually starting a raid. Okay, here we go, guys. Raid is starting. All right, so right at the flag, that's where we take the Ravagers. But for now, we just kill mobs. There they are. Okay, before this continues, let's make some diamond armor. Guys, I, I throw away the real diamond blocks. I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh, we can only make diamond boots. Iron armor it is. Oh, it's a final guy. All right, triple bow. Do your thing. Oh my gosh, what is that bow? Okay, it hits back. Okay, another raid part. I need the Ravager. Oh, here they come. Go on, bow. Okay, we're actually doing pretty good damage. Okay, that's two down. Let's get that last guy. And that was pretty easy. Oh, there it is. Yes. Okay, let me get these guys out of the way. No, 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 no. It's already coming after me. Okay, change the plans, guys. We gotta get this guy to the hole. Okay, come, come this way. Come this way. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Wait, come in here. Yes. We got it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Calm down, buddy. Okay. Let's get this done then. First thing, let me get the first selection. That's selection number two. Okay. Without further ado, let's get the canvas out. And Mr. Ravager, you're about to become something new. Let's start drawing. Okay. So here is the plan, guys. We have a lot of area to draw right now. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to just make the Ravager. 
Ravager gigantic. I want a big old Ravager. We're painting over it and giving it a whole new design. I don't know what's gonna happen to the Ravager or if we're gonna fight it or something. It's not the best drawing of a Ravager. It really kind of is mid, but I guess this will work. Let's go ahead and see what the admins do in three, two, one. Oh, holy. Enter the Ravager. It has a door on its side. Do I just like right click this guy? Oh, it's out the door for a second. What the heck just happened? Ravager interior. Find a disguise quickly. Wait, restroom? Huh? Hey, yo. Hey, you. Right there. Get over here. Let me kill this guy real quick. Oh, wait. In Pillager disguise? Did you just put this on? Guys, there's nothing to be worried about. We are now Pillager. Let me real quick just go into the restrooms and is there anything to do here? Oh, wait. This guy had a to-do list. It reads, unclog the toilets, prepare lunch, and care for the villagers. Oh, this sounds like a nice guy. Okay, how do I unclog this thing? There must be a plunger somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, real quick. Let me punch that thing. Oh, my God. Gosh, that is disgusting. No, okay, that's clean. We'll consider that clean. Another one. Let's clean you. Come on, toilet. And last one. Come on. Yep, yep. They're, they're, they're all clean. I, I think that's that done. First, that's done. Now prepare lunch. Oh, gosh, okay. I gotta go in disguise mode, guys. All right. We are just, you know, some uh, normal pillager. And it looks like guys are in line. And we're making sandwiches, it looks like. All right, guys. I'm ready to cook. I'll be your chef today. Definitely not human. Let me grab some of these steaks, apparently, and some of the bread. There we go. And we're making that right there. Let's go ahead and make some beef sandwiches. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna go to make 17 just so I have one for myself. And now, uh, do I just give it to you guys? Come on, take the sandwiches. There we go. One last one. Oh, they're walking away and disappearing into the void. Nice. And I think we should be in the clear, guys. Oh, second task done. Now to help the villagers. Okay, where are the villagers? Okay, let's go in here. Oh, wait, what the heck is wrong with them? Why are their eyes like that? Wait, save them. Find sneaky TNT. Let me take out the skies real quick. And where is the sneaky TNT? Is it somewhere around here? Oh, it is down here. And it's a stick of dynamite with soul touch 10. All right, guys, here you go. Sneaky TNT. Oh gosh, wait. Explosion T minus one minute. Oh gosh, wait, guys. Escape, escape. Get out. Go, 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 go. Okay, no more disguise. This is the final attack to finish the raid, guys. Oh, and there's the hole. Wait, before we go, before we go, let me let me get the recipe pieces. There we go. Okay, we're good. I need a new helmet too. Okay, boom, boom. There we go. And let's go. Okay, we made it out. Does it explode now? Oh, it's gone. And now with that done, we ended up getting a 512 canvas. Oh my gosh, we're going up high. And a realistic paintbrush. Okay, so because we're nearing the end, guys, why don't we do one more mob to get us to fight the dragon? For example, we have a cow right there. So low key, I could trap this cow. Mr. Cow, stand right in here. Get in there, Mr. Cow. There we go. And now, let's just choose area number one. There we go. Choose area number two. There we go. And it should be within. So let's get to painting. All right, this is gonna be a weird one. So we have a basic cow. So I was thinking, why don't we draw a four-legged Eye of Ender cow monster. It's gonna be a pretty iffy drawing, and I, I don't know why, but I'm feeling like a mohawk would look sick on this guy. Get all purple mohawk, but the most important part, guys, is gonna be the eye, which is the Eye of Ender. So we just do the good old eye, put it filled in with the green. It doesn't look like the best Eye of Ender, but I mean, yeah, maybe the admins will let me go to the end with this guy. Looks cool. Could be a pet. Let's see what happens in three, two, one. Oh, it came to life. It's missing and I build it? Wait, huh? Guards? Let me go around those guards real quick. Oh, wait, and so we got the mohawk and everything. It's a full-on dragon. Okay, so we gotta complete the eye. Honestly, I don't have the best blocks to make an eye, but we, we can try our best. I, I, we'll, we'll see if it gets completed if we just make the eye out of dirt. It's a dirt eye, I guess? Um, We'll make it even nicer, though. What we'll do is we'll put the crafting table as part of it, but it'll be a nice blue eye. I think I gotta add right here and... Oh, did that work? <laughs> A portal's open. Check the monster's mouth. He do be looking a little goofy, but it's all good. Okay, let me real quick get all the way down. There we go. Oh, and now we have this portal. Where's it gonna take me? Who knows? Here we go. Monsters inside? Wait, what the heck? Ender conscious. Am I supposed to mix at the top? Oh gosh. Okay, do some parkour and let's make sure whatever things are flying or whatever the water is, we do not touch it. Let's go up. Okay, let me just parkour around. Let's get to the top. Oh, and we got two doors up ahead. What is this? End portal, the void. Oh, wait, we have a decision now. I guess let's go to the end portal. That makes more sense. Oh, and here we go. Oh, and we made it. That's one out of three paintings complete. Wait, so does it get more realistic from this one? Oh, and it's already lit. All right, well, without further ado, guys, we got two more drawings to do. Maybe let's do it inside. And there's no dragon. Try drawing a new one. Oh, wait, is this an empty end? We might be in control here, guys. Oh, okay, let's select quarter number one and let me get all the way up there. And I might have an idea for quarter number two. Oh, we go. 
This should be good enough. There we go. That's corner two. And now with both areas chosen, let's do one of the final drawings. And now for the boss drawing, guys. I think we should have fun with this one. So we're going to just draw, you know, good old end. We got the end island. It's going to be a little bit scuffed, but it's all good. But the main thing we're going to do in the center is why not? Let's make like a boxing arena circle thing. So it doesn't look very pretty, but uh, let's consider this the boxing arena right there, okay? And then in the center, we're going to have a buff dragon with some big old muscles. He's going to be flexing. He's got to have his boxing gear. And then it'll just be me versus him. All right, so let's hope for the best in three, two, one. Oh gosh, okay, everything's shaking, guys. Boxing match, defeat the reigning champion. Oh, it happened. Yo, okay, here we go, guys. It's time to box. Let me fight this guy down real quick. He looks just like the drawing, kind of. Let me just see the stake, we're good. Okay, we're going in again, guys. The ultimate dragon fight. I wish I had some bets. Couple more hits. Down goes the boxing dragon. And that's gonna be two out of three paintings complete. And oh, wait, we got a new painting. The ultra HD paintbrush. Oh, oh my gosh. Guys, this is gonna be the biggest one. And I think I know what they want me to do. Let's go back. All right, without further ado, do I just paint this? Oh, hold on. We're going in. We're painting. Let's go. So with that being done, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great one. Enjoy this video just like this one. Bye, guys.